recently misleading the House of Commons about her knowledge of Home Office targets to remove illegal immigrants from the country. Well, let's speak to the Shadow Home Secretary, Labour's Diane Abbott. Uh, very good morning. Good morning. So Labour finally got their scalp. Well, it wasn't about taking a scalp. It was about getting justice for the Windrush generation. And somebody had to take responsibility. And that somebody had to be the Home Secretary on whose watch it, a lot of it happened. And I know that technically she resigned because of this issue about targets, were there targets, were there not targets. But I think most British people think she should have resigned about the Windrush scandal. Uh, yeah, you're right in saying that. She said that she was uh, inadvertently misleading the House of Commons uh, over the targets. Um, do you agree it is difficult to be across all aspects of your department, especially a huge department like the Home Office? Um, you yourself haven't always uh, been completely clear on police numbers, for example. Do you know what I've never been responsible for? I've never been responsible for ruining hundreds and possibly thousands of people's lives. I've never been responsible for people not getting cancer treatment. I've never been responsible for people going back to Jamaica and then, and then being trapped there for years. I've never been responsible for the material issues that happened under Amber Rudd's watch. That is why I think she has done the right thing by resigning. And most British people think that also. OK, let's take this back a step and focus on the issue of uh, illegal immigration. Do you agree that people living here illegally should be removed? We have to bear down on people who are here and who are illegal. But the first step in doing so is having a much more efficient and transparent Immigration Nationality Department. I don't blame the people that work there, but I do blame the pressures that they've been under by ministers, and I do blame the lack of resources. So the first step towards getting our immigration system right and bearing down on illegal immigrants is, ha is an overhaul of the Immigration Nationality Department. There needs to be a review. OK, there needs to be a review. So when you say bear down, do you mean that illegal immigrants, found to be illegal immigrants in this country, they shouldn't be here, they should be removed? Is that what you agree? Of course. If people are here and it's proven they're here illegally, of course they should be removed. Uh, what about this idea of a amnesty? Is that not a good idea? Boris Johnson's amnesty. I don't think at this point an amnesty is the answer. The answer is to get the running of the Immigration Nationality Department right. That is the fundamental answer. Because it's not just about illegals, it's about the way our detention centres are run, it's about the delays, it's about the very high level of appeals that are actually upheld. About nearly half the people who appeal against the Immigration Nationality, De Nationality Department decision mm. get their appeal upheld. That's the kind of things, the range of things we need to deal with. A lot of people in this country think that uh, we should definitely have targets for removing illegal immigrants. Is that something that you think is a good idea? Of course we should have targets, but they should be for specific areas of Home Office activity. For instance, there's a big problem with foreign nationals who are in prison, who the judge has said should be deported at the end of sentence and don't get deported. That's the sort of thing, specific areas of activity, that we should have targets for. Okay, what, what, about... was wrong, what was wrong with the targets that um, seem to be operating currently? They were too broad, they were too general, and the pressure to hit those general targets meant that the Windrush generation got swept up in it. What about uh, net migration? Where does Labour stand on that? We know that this government uh, has a figure of 100,000. What's Labour's figure? Well, the Tory figure is... It's never been met, it never will be met, it's an arbitrary figure introduced for party political reasons. The home okay, what, would Labour, the home, what would Labour's figure be? What would Labour's figure be? The Home Affairs Select Committee said that the Tory figure was actually counterproductive. What we are looking at in the first instance is fair rules and the reasonable management of migration. We are not going to put out bogus figures in the way the Tories did, which they knew could never be met. 
OK, we must leave it there. Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott, thank you very much.